What is going on everyone? Hope everyone is doing great today. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alex Balkus, and in today's video, I am going to be reviewing the LED wall projecting alarm clock that I got from discounteddeals.co. So in today's video, we're gonna go over a couple of the things that pretty much sum up what the product is about, how to use it, its functionality, and why I think it's great. And without further ado, let's take a look at the product. So you have this little cube right here. This cube is gonna be all that you need along with the power cord to go ahead and get this projection alarm clock started on your nightstand. And of course, you have your projector on the top. Now this is gonna be what's the most important thing, uh, especially when you wanna get it phased properly on your wall. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so to start off, we're going to talk about the battery installation. Now, if you don't have those AAA batteries that I was talking about in the beginning, you can go ahead and use your power cord right here. Now, the uh, female end of this cord is with the USB, and it is quite a bit short. So I would definitely recommend you go ahead and grab yourself those AAA batteries to put here in the back just to allow you to put it wherever it is that you want to go. So. With this particular alarm clock, there are a couple great things about it that you can do that I actually found quite appealing. So the one of the negative things is that anytime that it's unplugged with no batteries in it, it's going to restart back to a uh, standard 12 o'clock timing, no matter how you have it preset. So you're going to want to make sure that you never unplug it, or you just go ahead and get those batteries, like I said, so that you don't have to worry about it at all. Now. This clock has a couple of different settings and features. Here on the back is where you'll be able to control it. Under any mode, all you have to do is press the top button to tell the time, and just like this. Oh, well, you got to make sure that the talk is on. So let's give it another try. 12 o'clock. Awesome. So just so you guys want to know, uh, what I did here was I just turned on the talking mode to on. You can switch it on and off because it does also have a feature where you can go on to chime one, which pretty much alerts you every time the hours change. So I turned it off because I don't need to know every time the hours change, but in the event that you want to, you can just go ahead and keep it on and that's what you'll get. All right, so here in the back is where you're gonna be able to change the mode, setting, and times of this clock. So here is where you'll be able to just kind of get a little feel for what it is that you're gonna have to press in order to change it to the timing that you want. So everything is gonna start with mode right over here. And once you hold that down, you'll see that it flashes. Now with that flashing, it's going to just indicate that it's time for you to click the right and left hour and minute buttons. Now, if you don't press anything for a couple of seconds, it will reset back and you'll just have to redo it again. So once you have it flashing, you'll be able to change the hours. So overall, this clock is pretty, pretty awesome. It is very small in size, which is fantastic. Uh, definitely convenient for you to put along your bed a nightstand or in your office, wherever you prefer. And of course, it is great as long as you put those batteries in there because without those batteries, this cable will not do. It's just a little too short, especially if you want it centered in the room. All right, so now we have the lights off. So now we're gonna go ahead and show you guys. Uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that you know the clock is facing towards you or else the numbers will be flipped. And you can go ahead and just adjust the positioning of your projection through this top piece right here. You just slide it up and down. So if you look up there, you'll see that it's on the ceiling. And of course, just with the slightest ease, you can go ahead and adjust it in any which way that you want to. Some people prefer to have it on the wall. That's also not a bad idea. You can have it on the wall here. And the farther that you have it away, the bigger the words get. All right, guys, so that's going to be my review on the LED projection alarm clock. And I hope you guys enjoyed and got some value out of it. Like me to review any other products that you're curious about, please be sure to drop it in the comments down below and we'll go ahead and get it out to you guys as soon as possible. Please be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with the product reviews that we have going out on a regular basis and we will see you guys on the next one.